Hey y'all, so here's the deal. The daily news cycle is an endless gale force shitstorm of unbridled, almost literally incredible lunacy. This obviously sucks a whole very lot for a bunch of reasons, but in my opinion, one of them is it allows the lesser lizards out there to fly their bullshit mostly under the radar. Boogity boogity bug fuck crazy politicians at the state and lower levels are subject to far less scrutiny now that we have an 800 pound spray tan gorilla with dementia in the White House. And that don't really hit for me. So we're gonna try something, hope y'all like it. Uh, this isn't your mainstream lunacy, all right? This is that gourmet artisanal insane bullshit here, all right? We're gonna dig into some of these more low profile American absurdity stories one at a time in a series that I'm tentatively calling Do What Now? So it pains my soul to say that when talking about Stone Age dipshit politics, there ain't many better places to start than my homeland, rural Middle Tennessee. Specifically, Coffee County, which, despite the name, not the most woke place, turns out. A video recently surfaced of Coffee County District Attorney Craig Northcott in the, sometime in the last year speaking at this, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, religious town hall type of situation, like a church. Hall, I, I don't know how God works, but either way, there's one broke brain feller speaking in a room full of similarly broke brain fellers, and at that, D.A. Northcott was asked this question. Let's say the federal government does something ridiculous like legalize gay marriage, and you're a Christian county clerk working in a marriage license office. Holy shit, this guy is really asking about Kim Davis right now. You know, Kim Davis, that Kentucky County clerk who uh, made headlines a few years ago when she refused to give out marriage licenses for gay people. She looks like a, a villain in a trailer park version of Harry Potter. Kim Davis, you remember her? Because this old boy sure as hell does. Jesus Christ, do they ever let anything go? I swear, it's like everything liberals ever do is another miniature Vietnam for these motherfuckers. You got damn right. And speaking of Vietnam, the liberals burned the flag and spit on our soldier. But I digress. Back to the story at hand here. D.A. Northcott was asked if he had been the district attorney with Kim Davis when that happened, how would he have handled it? That was the question. The answer, though, was five minutes of wacky Middle Ages horse shit intermingled with truly abhorrent policy stances. Just, you know, classic church shit. For example, this. It just boils down to, are you going to do what God says, or are you going to do what man says? Uh, do what now? <laughs> you know, something tells me that if a case comes across his desk where a black man got caught with weed, all this word of man, word of God talk is going to get pretty dicey pretty quick. The black guy's lawyer is going to be like, is it not the word of man, counselor, that made this plant illegal when it was the word of God who put it here for us to enjoy in the first place? Uh... Well, I wasn't talking about black God. I mean, not, no, I meant American God. It's a t Anyway, five to ten years. So this is all terrible, but unfortunately pretty par for the course until he eventually abandons the Kim Davis shit altogether and circles back to every straight Christian man's favorite topic, happily married gay couples and their infuriating insistence on existing. Oh, and also assault. Oh, the social engineers on the Supreme Court decided that we now have homosexual marriage. I disagree with them. What do I do with domestic assaults? One hand, I don't prosecute them because I don't recognize it as marriage. So to be clear, he's saying that if a domestic assault case involves a gay couple, he will not prosecute it as such. You see, domestic assault has different rules surrounding it than regular assault, most of which were designed specifically for the safety of the abused against their abuser, and none of which gay people will have available to them under DA Northcott. And if you think maybe this is out of context or something, I assure you it is not. Well, the reason where I came down in my evaluation was the reason that there's enhanced punishment on a domestic violence is to recognize and protect the sanctity of marriage. And I said there's no marriage to protect. Well, there you have it. Sorry, gays, your marriages are invalid. So saith Craig. That's another thing. This motherfucker's name is Craig, y'all. Craig's don't get to make decisions like that, but the rest of us agreed on it. We all got together and agreed that Craig's don't get to do that. I mean, look, if you need advice 
on a strain of weed or a Grim Reaper tattoo, yeah, sure, you call it Craig. But for impactful policy decisions, no Craigs, no. So some of y'all are probably thinking, okay, obviously fuck this particular Craig. He is the worst, clearly, but how big of a deal is this really? How often is his little stance even gonna come up in tiny Coffee County, Tennessee? Well, actually probably more than you think because Coffee County, Tennessee is no ordinary rural Tennessee county because that is the location of Manchester, Tennessee and hippies and body painters everywhere will recognize Manchester as the home of Bonnaroo. Now look, Bonnaroo's not specifically a gay thing, it's a music festival, but I've been to five of them, so I can tell you, there's rainbows and flowers and drugs and naked people all over the goddamn place. And, and one time at a Portugal the Man show in 2009, a bouncy young gentleman with a double-ended dildo saved my life. So you can take it from me, Bonnaroo is a truly magical place. And like many truly magical places, it's pretty gay. And now any illegality that happens at Bonnaroo will fall under the purview of stupid, stupid Craig. And maybe it's just me, but fuck that shit out the door, y'all. That ain't it. It's not just gay people with Craig, all right? He also has publicly stated that in his opinion, Muslims have no rights under the law because they don't believe in the quote, one true God. Well, let me tell y'all right now, with one notable exception involving drugs, a sunset, and my morning jacket, I ain't never seen God's ass at Bonnaroo, okay? But my point is, do gay people and atheists and partiers, you know, the festival crowd, do they really want to attend a festival that's legally presided over by a Bible-thumping troglodyte that thinks we're all less than human? It's a fucking problem. And it's not just Bonnaroo, all right? Milky fuckface Craig also was just appointed as a special prosecutor in a case involving the corrupt Tennessee Speaker of the House and a 23-year-old black activist. I wonder which way Craig is going to lean in that one. Look, this dude wields real power and is demonstrably unfit to do so. A collection of 300 Tennessee attorneys just filed a petition to have his license immediately suspended. Not one fellow district attorney has come to Craig's defense. There's a reason for that. It's clear what needs to happen here. But as anybody from Red State America can tell you, what needs to happen very often don't have a goddamn thing to do with what does happen. So we'll see. All right, this has been Do What Now? I'm Trey. Love y'all. Fuck Craig. See you next time.